So hey y'all, how you been? Hope you've been enjoying my series. So it's been a week, it's been a week in my hair. I haven't washed my hair in about eight days and that's not recommended to go this long. My third day detox is actually up. Um, this is week seven. Um, I started the detox the week of August 5th. I got my salon visit um, on August 20th and now this is week seven. Hey y'all, my name is Deidre. I'm a content creator based out of Michigan. I'm a mom of one and a half year old. I am currently 23 weeks pregnant. On my channel, you'll find information about natural hair and mom life. So if you're into any of that, make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell, you know, if you want to. Also follow me on Instagram. I love to talk, we can talk it up, okay? So let's get started, let's jump in the shower. All right, y'all, so let's get started. I sound nasally because I am sick, but I am going to push through and get this done for y'all because I really want to. So as you can see in the before clip, my hair was pretty tangled and I am going to thoroughly saturate my hair to just try to just get some of that water back in my hair because it's been a while since I've had any water in my hair. It's been about four weeks since I've clarified, so I'm going to clarify with Kinky Curly Not Today pretty good shampoo I enjoy it emulsify the product in my hands really well even do it over my head so I won't waste anything and start applying the shampoo so I apply a little more shampoo so I can get a better lather and a better cleanse on my hair and I'm actually trying to work the shampoo down in a downward motion so I'm not creating more tangles. That's something else I learned from the See Some Curls course is to shampoo in a downward motion. I'm parting my hair so I can get to all of my hair really well. And then I'm going to rinse it out after I have shampooed my hair. Next step is the Innocence Hydrating Cream Hair Bath. This is the cleansing step. I love this shampoo. If you're looking for it, luxurious, detangling, smells amazing, I would recommend this, and it goes a long way. As you can see, before I use the product, I emulsify, and just look at all that lather already in my hair. I actually decided to do two shampoos with the Innocence Hydrating Hair Bath, and look how well it detangles, y'all. Just showing you the other side, I am working the shampoo in a downward motion the same way and I'm detangling my hair. I even see a little bit of curl definition, like what kind of shampoo gives you curl definition? It's amazing. I, It's amazing. It's just a great shampoo. You gotta try it. After I shampooed my hair, I'm going to rinse it out as always. I'm going to make sure I get the middle section really well because that section tends to hold shampoo and product just a little bit more too. Anybody else make funny faces when they're washing their hair? Or is that just me? It can't be just me. And now my hair is all clean. Next step is conditioning or hydrating. And of course, I'm going to use AG Boost, an all-time favorite. I apply two pumps of the AG Boost conditioner all over my hair first, just so I can help section my hair before I thoroughly detangle my hair. As always, I got one section in the top, two in the sides, and two in the back. We're gonna get started detangling. I applied one pump of AG Boost to the back section, and I'm gonna apply more water. As you can see, I'm working on my water to product ratio. I'm gonna finger detangle first, and then go in with a brush. Onto my middle section. I'm using one pump of AG Boost for my middle section as well. Again, adding more water so I can help activate the conditioner a little bit better. I was afraid this would rinse out some of the conditioner, but it's still pretty saturated in my hair and still helps me detangle. As always, I'm going to show my middle section in real time because that is my problem section, but I feel like it's becoming more water trained, conditioner trained. I'm not sure, maybe it's become more hydrated, but it's just getting easier to detangle. So as always, I'm starting at the ends and working my way up. 
and then I'm going in with a brush. So I even tried to be brave and detangle those two middle parts together. Um, <laughs> I thought it would be easier, but it wasn't the hardest. Thank God AG Boost has a lot of slip to it and I already detangled before. I, maybe I could have added more water to the section, it would have helped in hindsight, but I don't know. Like y'all, my arm was tired. <laughs> this also might help that I get a trim too, to my middle section. So now that I've applied all the conditioner and detangled my hair, I'm going to rinse it out and I'm going to rake my fingers in a downward motion while I detangle. Next is the defining step. Of course, we're using Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. I used one pump per section at first. I'm going to emulsify the product in my hand and then start at the ends and work my way up. Some people apply this all to their hair at the same time. Some people apply in section. As they get more comfortable with it, um, I'm going to start applying it all over I think adding more water just so I can try to get the water product ratio right and squishing the product into my hair I'm just trying to feel how much product is in my hair to water if I feel like I need more product I will add more product or if I feel like I need more water I will add more water now working on my middle section this is before adding product I add one pump of Uncle Funky's daughter start at my ends and work my way up So as you saw in the before clip, I added more water to add more weight to my hair. I'm also going to separate my hair and open up that section so I can thoroughly distribute the product. I'm not trying to style my hair right now, I'm just adding product to my hair. And this is a before and after, the left is before and the right is after. Now to work on the rest of my sections, I'm rinsing out the conditioner. I add one pump of Uncle Funky's Daughter. I'm going to rake my fingers through my hair and smooth my hair just to help define my curls even more. Add more water if I feel like my hair needs more water and I will add more Uncle Funky's Daughter if I feel like it needs more of that as well. So we're still on the defining step, I'm using Innocence I Create Hold, and this gel is amazing y'all, it really gives you that hold. I'm using two pumps and I'm going to apply it all over my hair, starting at the ends and working my way up. I'm going to smooth the product in a downward motion as well. So I add another pump of I Create Hold to my hair, emulsify it in my hands, and then continue to apply it. I actually opened up my hair so I could get my middle section, because like I told you, it's a dense section, and I want to make sure it's thoroughly coated with the gel. Add another pump. Getting the front section and more of the sides, and just trying to thoroughly distribute the product through my hair. Look at that shine. Oof. Oof. So this is the third topper just to add some slip. I add more water to my hair before adding this product because that's what my stylist did. And like I said, I'm trying to get as close to her as I can. Now, I was surprised with this product. This is my first time trying it. It smelled amazing. It had a really interesting consistency and it gave me a, some slip and hold. I emulsify the product in my hands first and then go through applying it. Starting at my ends and working my way up like everything else. So the left is my hair after adding the curly magic and I create hold. The right is after adding more water and the papaya slip. Can you see a difference? Because I can. 
So after this, I put my hair up and I get out of the shower so I can actually style my hair. So this is the part where it comes into defining your curls. I am going to finger comb my hair and smooth my hair just to set my curls. If I run into any tangles, I am going to work them out at the ends first and then smooth my hair down and rake it down so I can ease all that frizz I created by detangling it. I'm going to work in sections and do this slowly. It's kind of like the shingling method where you just take piece like curl by curl and work in the product. Now this all depends on where you have the most frizz or where you want to have the most definition because I know the front of my hair and the sides of it frizzes the most. So I'm going to try to smooth and finger rake the best of my ability in those sections. I also know my front frizzes the most, so I also added a little more I create hold to the front of my hair just to give me more hold. I want to show you how wet my hands are with the product just so you could see. I had a little frizz at the front of my hair, so I went through and smoothed it and finger detangled in the front just to make sure it laid down. Now look at the back part of my hair. Where you see that circle, there's a little frizz in that area. And if I were to go into the dryer like that, I know it wouldn't dry the way I want to. So I'm going to detangle that part with my fingers and then smooth it down just to ease all that frizz. So can you see a difference with that frizzy area? I definitely can. All right, I am done. I sat under the dryer on high for about 30 minutes and I sat under again for 10 minutes, probably on low, just so it wasn't so hot. And I ate some food. Um, I think I like how I, my hair turned out. I feel like this is the best wash and go I've done myself. Um, I think I used too much water though. I think I should have used more product than water this time. But you let me know. Let's get into the hair. Like this front section looks really good. Usually this front section gets frizzy, so I'm gonna monitor how um, frizzy it gets throughout the five days or however long I keep this in. This section, I could still use a little more practice, but it's getting better. Oh, looks like my daughter just woke up. Or she moved, I don't know. Either way, I gotta hurry. Thanks for hanging out with me, make sure you subscribe. And I'll have my pros and cons, my little recap, um, probably next week. Or I'll try to get up as soon as possible. So, talk to you later. I don't, I don't know why I did this. All right, bye y'all.